Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to be covering how to make a simple UI in C Sharp using Visual Studio. This tutorial is suitable for beginners due to it requiring mostly no coding. This will cover for the most part everything you need in a UI. Assuming you already have Visual Studio installed in your system and have all the necessary libraries, let's get started. First, you're going to want to create a new project. To do this, simply head over to File, click on New, select Project, and choose Windows Format. Then proceed to name your project and click OK. You're going to see something like this. I recommend to choose a color as background for your program. To do this, go on Properties section, look for Back Color, and choose one of the predetermined there. If you'd like, you can also cho choose your custom color. I like 24, 24, 24. Next, you're going to want to change the name and select a custom logo. If you don't have one, you can uncheck the show icon property to solely show the name of your program. Next, we're going to make a menu which will display different tabs as you click through it. I think this method is the most clean. Click on the tools bar in the top left. This will pop up a menu. Search for a button and drag one into your project. Next, reposition your button wherever you want the menu to. For a clean menu, I recommend to set its background color to the same as your projects. Then remove outlines for your button and proceed to change its text color to one that stands out against To do this, find back color, select the same as your project, and then look for flat appearance. You should find flat type under which you have to set to pop up. Next, go into full color and select the one that stands out. In my case, I'm using white. Then, to add another tab, drag another button and repeat the same process. Now, you have the buttons, but they don't really do anything at this point. So, to add them to your code, select each one individually and double-click them to add to your code. To make the tabs, you have to go to your toolbox, look for panel, and then add the corresponding amount to the number of buttons you have. I'm going to resize my window to have a little more space to work. Resize your panel to the size you want your window to be. Once you have that, give the name of your panel. Proceed to copy the size and location of your panel too. In my case, it's panel 3, so I'm going to do tab 3, control it. To do so, you have to get the names of your other panels and set their visibility to false, except for the one you want to control. To do that, just use this simple string. The one on with true is the one you want to pop up, and the others are the panels you have. Proceed to do the same to other panels, just changing the panel name. Your main UI should now be working, but you still have to resize your other tabs and put content on them. It's very simple to do this, just set the size the same as your other panels. After you added content, change the location of all the panels to the initial panel you had the location on. Then resize your window again and it should be working. To see your program, click on start and there it is. If you like this video and or found it helpful, remember to leave a like and comment down below if you have any problems. I will be linking the download link for the source code in the description if you want to use it. 